Hi everybody, this is Dennis from the Dennis and Andy Show. I'm going to do a full review of Bunny Mask issues 2 and 3 from uh, Aftershock Comics. Uh, Paul Tobin and Andrea Moody uh, created this. Um, we remember the first one, he was trapped um, in, down in the caves uh, with B, and he wound up escaping and found out later on that B was... It's like, what, 12 or 14 years later. Um, I think it's like 14. Um, so we've kind of fast forward, and he had found her in the uh, um, 14 years later in the city. She's an artist now, B is. The, um, so if you really have questions and you didn't check out number one, I did a quick flip and then a full review of issue number one. So you can go to our playlist and go back and check them out. Um, and this starts off taking place in his office um he goes oh effie your your hand came out you know fine just take a little tlc with it and she goes oh that's neat where'd you get that uh that bunny mask your statue he goes she goes it's really amazing um and he's like bunny mask huh that's his name where'd it come from he goes i i'm not sure she goes did you get it from like a yard sale or you know he's like Boy, I, I don't know. It's like, I don't even remember it being here this morning. Whoa, creepy. It's even haunted. Maybe you'll probably get, uh, maybe your nurse put it in here. Uh, he goes, well, he goes, you okay, doc? You're, you're a little sick yourself. No, I'm fine. He starts having flashbacks of what had happened to him in the, uh, what he thought was a, a delusion from the first one. He goes, well, he goes, it was a crazy time. I almost died. My friend B was a part of it. Um, for years, I thought B had died too, um, yeah, but she didn't. Um, now we fast forward. It says, I'm the space princess. Space princess. So kids are all playing on the ground. Um, you can see a couple of guys in there watching him. He goes, what I'm thinking is we try to get the girl to come with us nice and simple. But if things go weird for you or you see a teacher or something, get her in the bag. He goes, well, we'll see what my uh, ex-wife thinks about it when I have custody of my daughter the way I should. Remember, uh, your wife, so he's, they're kind of going back into it. He goes, we had it all, and I was just holding some basically drugs for a friend. The kid wasn't in there. She went and called the cops and everything like that. So he got in trouble. Now they're there to kidnap uh, his kid so he can take uh, custody. And so they're like, yep. They got their plan together, they're ready to execute, and all of a sudden they hear, is there sickness? What the hell? They're all of a sudden, they're, they're in the caves, the caves from issue one. Huh, did you slip me something? Hey, this ain't me. And we can see, pitter, pitter, pet, pet. And the, uh, the, the girl's running around the bunny mask. I am, uh, I am holding tight to your shadows, feeling them thrash. What the hell? The guy whips out a pistol and starts shooting. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, it's not stopping her. How the hell is it not stopping? <laughs> oh, minus one head. Oh, what the hell? I am Bunny Mask. I am the last of the girls to give you a kiss. Needless to say, he winds up, uh, they wind up dead. So she kind of saves the girls. Now fast forward, we're downtown. Tyler's on the phone um with his roommate and she goes look you're you're dating you're officially dating her no i'm not we're just friends no 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 you've been doing it too much so they're arguing about if it's a date and if they're gonna stay he's gonna stay at her house he goes you know there's a big difference you know 14 years difference between her and b but you're definitely both adults so they go on their date b and tyler and they start talking a little bit about you know the cave but then you can see as the night goes on, they start talking. They go from bunny mass to Rolling Stones and BTS. Um, hypothetical question, if you were in the zoo, which animal would you steal? So it's all small talk, and they're just getting along great. All of a sudden, we skip to Tuesday, and they're out doing karaoke. Thursday, um, they're walking the dog. Friday, she shows them the kiln and, uh, you know, where she does her masks. Saturday, you know, so they are definitely getting close. Sunday, all of a sudden, you sink a hook in the truth. You drag it out of their throat. Who said that? Monday, 
They're back to talking Wednesday. The voices appears in his head again. Every secret a body to bury, but every secret is an open grave. So they're drunk on Thursday, climbing trees. Saturday morning, uh, Rumi is making him pancakes, saying, look, look, you two, two, two need to start doing something. You guys like each other. You know, just do it. He's walking, and all of a sudden, the snitch is in his ear, talking to him, saying all these different things. He's like, what the... And all of a sudden, he's like, he'll guide you. What the hell? Leo, you're dead. You died in the cave. I did, but that's okay. I was never speaking. I was a puppet. You know now. It's good. It's good who you are. Uh, I'm done. Uh, I done right by you. So anyway, he's like, ah, wakes up, and he's like, oh, crap. He's in the cave. What? Calm down. Just wake up again. So he thinks he's in a delusion. He goes, was this real? How did I get out here? Police tape. Looks new. Basically, an Uber driver comes and picks him up. He walks back in, and there's Effie and Rilo, the roommate. Oh, hi, Dr. Jenkins. Weird, huh? We found out you both like it. You two are dating? Ah, so anyway, small talk. They're like, yeah, you know, that's kind of weird. You like stalking you, you found each other, but they did. He walks into his bedroom, and there's a painting. Where'd this painting come from? I don't know. Hey, B, did you, uh, calls her up, did you give me a painting? Nope. All right. He goes to bed. It's really cool. He kind of wakes up. He starts hearing the voices. I, I knew where the pills were. Like a rocket made, of, like a pocket made of skin. So he's going on. He's carving a little piece of mercy from her lips. Shut up. All of a sudden, there she is. Shut up. I have made the same words as your, as your mouth. Perhaps the snitch will listen to mine. Holy shit, you're real. Nothing is real. Touch me. Does this one not feel uh, like flesh? He reaches out and touches and goes, yeah, you do feel real. He, no matter, all is false. Even a shadow feels real to the light. Basically, she lets him know, by the way, there were three men coming to the outside for the purpose of murder. He goes, it would be nothing for me to help. As easy as a kiss as a touch. A soft breath that falls upon a cheek. She goes, but I'm not going to. She goes and lays down for a nap and all of a sudden they crash in. And it's to be continued and it goes right into issue uh, number three. We pick up. They come bursting in. Um, Tyler comes out to try and save him. Um, he winds up, she, she winds up screwing up his shot. She goes, dang it, you screwed up my shot. Well, we have to kill all three of them. We can't have any witnesses. We got to go. All of a sudden, what the? Boom, boom. What? Whoa. All of a sudden, it's the sheriff. It's Sheriff uh, uh, Roger Tate. Calm down. We met at the foster cave, remember? Um, who are these guys? We have no idea. And then, But the snitch is like short hair lies. Tyler Severin. Short hair knows. Her lips are spilling lies. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. Nothing. She's like, whoa, 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 I don't know anything. She lies. So anyway, Ty, the sheriff's like, hey, by the way, I went to the cave. We do need to talk. Here's my card. Um, Tyler B., you know, uh, a sandwich um, by an iron belt. So you say in your studio, you know what they sell? Kilns keep a girl warm. So he winds up uh, putting down a sleeping bag. They stay there. We flip to the morning, and there's a little girl out there. Little boy's being mean. All of a sudden, Bunny Mash shows up. Would you like to know your future child? Uh, maybe, I guess. Here we go, Nash, Nash, Nash. I read fortunes and teeth. Ah, I see you will have laughter. You will share bad fashions with good ones. Distant fireworks. Mountains. A fish beneath the sea, kisses from 15 pair of lips before you find the perfect fit. You will have uh, seven dogs in your life and be bitten by three. Basically says he, he's going to be done pretty quick. So there, he, she goes, I hope you feel better now. <laughs> I am good with children. So it's actually kind of funny. Um, there's the bunny mask. You can see it. Tyler, ah, wow, you're really jumpy. So he, go, he explains that they found out that the guys were there to uh, kill him. Uh, not him, but uh, her, um, Effie, 
because she knew about a mobster and the mobster, he knows too much. And yeah, he had to silence her because she can't know that. And he was just going to be in the way. Also to let him know that they made it down into the caves and that they found the hidden caves from issue one um, and that they probably need to talk. Did you hear any voices in your head? Tyler lied and said no. He goes to stay with her and it's sexual tension and she goes, come on, no. Next day, the voices are in his head. The snitch keeps talking and going through everything. The boy that lies to you and he's hearing the snitch tells him about everybody's dirty secrets as you know he's walking by it's kind of driving him nuts he goes to meet taylor out uh the sheriff out for drinks and the two of them sit there really drunk now um they're going back and forth it's really good conversation um he goes there was something in that cave and it's eating me alive yeah i hear him too tyler what yeah uh half the people i see spilling their secrets the snitch is the only one who told me about Effie lying the other night. I was outside trying to reason around and basically he told me that those guys were coming in to kill him and you were just gonna be in the way. So he goes, but he doesn't say one word about B. It's like he doesn't even know she exists. Well, hell, same here. Anyway, how do we stop the voice? How do we, what do we do about this? More beer, more booze? Yeah, I will. So they continue to drink. All of a sudden, they're walking, he's on the phone, he goes, oh, pooch, it looks like it's just me and you. All of a sudden, his eyes go, you know, blazing yellow. What the hell? Whoa. They almost turn into, like, I don't know, demon dogs, hell spawn, something like that. Holy crap, stay back. Is there sickness? Ah, crap. Are are those dog things yours? Nothing's ever mine. Um, these teeth here belong to another uh, hunger for your end. There is one who wanted to listen, but instead you spoke. Did you think uh, you were the only uh, one that Snitch talks to? No, Roger, There and there are more. So anyway, she's like, they will give you all their teeth unless you set me free. So you can see he's touching her. She goes to give him a kiss. Ty uh, Tyler Severn. You need only to touch my shadows to let me steal their bones. So that's kind of an interesting um, tale. Um, I know they're going to probably be heading back to the caves, um, him and the sheriff. But yeah, that's an, this is an interesting tale. Um, I, I like the dialogue. I wanted to give you a taste of it without giving you everything. Um, I think you guys are going to enjoy this. This is, this is fun. I said the artwork, as I have mentioned before, fits in with the storytelling style. Um, it's it's creepy. It's a bit of a thriller. It's a bit of a, like what what's going on? Supernatural. This is fun. I'm giving um, Bunny Mask uh, an 8.5 on the CGC scale. I think this is really decent. Um, I really can't wait to see where where this winds up. Uh, you know, ending off and and how they finish it off. Or will this be, an, uh, be a recurring one? Um, Aftershock's been putting out some, some pretty decent books. Um, yeah, I don't know. Leave your thoughts below. Remember, everybody, I do the quick flips. Um, try and do them every week. Um, or it's 60-second shorts where uh, I can give you guys a, a, a brief look at some of the new books. And then I'll do the hashtag full reviews and kind of give you guys an in-depth, uh, you know, recap of them without giving you all the details. These are good books. I hope you give them a try. Hit the like and subscribe button and leave your comments below. Did you like this? Not like it? Um, what are your thoughts? Let's talk to you all later. See ya.